Listen up, partners. This is Good, Bad, Ugly on World Improv Network. Good evening, everyone. I am Alex. I'm Asa. This is Jim. And we are your astute wind counselors to get you through the week with any issues you might be facing or any daily grind scenarios that you're trying to get through. So let's get right to it. Pam from Denver, Colorado writes, Dear Wynn, why do we still have daylight savings time? Hmm, how about the astrophysicist over there? What do you think, Jimbo? Um, well, we have, uh, it's, it's for the farmers. Oh. Yeah. Turkey um, farmers or just any old kind of I farm? think I think any and all farmers. Uh, all or right. anyone that likes to get up early in the morning. Uh, so it, it preserves daylight. And they get, they get more daylight over the course so of the year. So what are you saying? If you get up early, the sun will follow? Or how does that work? Well, we move the clocks back so that uh, during the winter, it, the sun is up at uh, is up during, for more hours during the day. Oh, that sounds tricky. Yeah, yeah, it's very complicated. Mm. <laughs> what do you think, guys? <clears throat> Why do I? Why do we still have daylight savings time? The winner wants to know. Uh, that's a great question. Okay. Well, Pam, I think I might have an answer for you. I think the reason why we still have daylight savings time is because we're trying to save ourselves from the impending daylight, which is basically our ozone layer burning up and us getting scorched, um, kind of like magnifying glasses from space on ants. And so we're trying to save that daylight because we won't see it much longer if we continue to do it, what we're doing to our planet. That's what I meant to. That was what I was. Yeah. I, I just didn't have the words for it. Uh, clearly. All right. Well, um, anyway, uh, that's probably the real reason why, Pam. Uh, Joel from the Philippines writes, Oh, dear Wynn, why is the Learning Channel called the Learning Channel when all they do is show mindless reality TV crap? Hmm. What do you think, Ace? You know what? Hmm. Learning uh, is not some... Knowledge is not just dumped into your head like water into a bucket. Learning is something that you have to choose to do. So... Yeah, they can put on whatever reality programming they want, but any channel is the learning channel if you approach it with a learning kind of attitude. Mm. Well, you know what What I think it is, Joel, is that uh, it's called subliminal learning channel, or that's what they're going to change their name to in 2015. So they show you mindless stuff like Honey Boo Boo and whatnot, and in the background, they're actually giving you really good stuff that you used to learn in school. So it's subliminally thrown in your head, and therefore it confuses you as who you are as a person because you have no idea what the hell you're watching. What do you think, Jim? Um, I think it uh, is named so because that's what the reality shows are, is we're seeing if these people can learn. Oh. Because we establish that they are uh, subhuman in many respects. Um, they're just, you know, not people that you want to breed. Uh-huh. Um, and we're going to see, hey, can they evolve? Can they learn and become contributing members of society? And whether or not, I mean, I was, we were listening to that segment the other day about, uh, God, was it Talking Points with Shabazz Davis? Yeah. He had mm-hmm. that turkey on there, and that turkey was able to do perfect, like, 270-degree pirouettes and stuff. So, you know, whether or not people well, can actually learn, you know, any kind of, like, geometry or even ability to comprehend what 270 degrees is. Mm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good take on that one mm-hmm. there, Jimbo. Isn't degrees metric? Oh. I think... I think degrees are universal. Yeah, but must, hey, that's it's a pretty big claim. That is a big claim, Jimbo. Did it start in the metric system, though? Uh, well, in Europe, they use both degrees and radians, and here we also use both degrees and radians. Mm. All right, well. All right, well. Maybe you got off on the hook on that one. Put that in the <sighs> lookup file. All right, look at <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the Google file. All right, we have one more here, and this one is from Anonymous Woman from Somewhere Writes. That's and, the name they submitted? Anonymous, anonymous woman? woman from Somewhere Writes. So we okay. don't know your name, but we know your, your supposed gender. We know that you're, yeah, we know you're human and that you're somewhere in the point that you can type into a computer, but we Exists don't know where that is. in a place. It's in a plane of existence. Dear Wynn, what's the deal with the annoying woo girls? Hmm. Well, I'm guessing probably Jim has the most experience with Woo Girls. What do you think, Jimbo? Uh, yeah, I actually uh, toured with the Wu Tang Clan for several years in the late '90s, and uh, the Woo Girls—that—that uh, that was our term for all the all the the ladies who would oh, come the, backstage. The groupies. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, they don't like to be called that. Oh. Um, they were called Woo Girls, not yeah, groupies. Yeah. Yeah. They were Woo Girls. Okay. Um, 
And I, I never had the opportunity to be with any myself because I wasn't actually in the Wu Tang clan. Oh. Um, but yeah, you no, almost were. You know, I tried. You were close. It I was got, between you and Capadonna, right? Yeah, yeah. And they gave it to him. Well, Whatever. Should, well, <clears throat> that was a, that was a big mistake because Wu Tang Clan is not all that popular anymore, and they would have been if you were still. They're the still Wu-Tang. popular. Yeah, but not as popular as they would be if Jimbo was on Wu Tang Clan. All right. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm not going to argue with that. Um, but yeah, I, I found them always, uh, to be a very nice group of young ladies. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were very polite. Right. Um, they were very accommodating. Um, yeah, I, I don't find anything annoying about the Woo, woo Girls. Well, okay. I will, I think what's going on with the Woo Girls, it started, uh, back in the Catholic Church originally. And it was nuns that would scream like that, go, woo! Woo! And they would do that when they saw a naked priest, because they know they weren't supposed to see that kind of stuff. So they would scream, and they got excited, and almost like a turkey, a little bit out of control. That's uh, what's going on with the Woo Girls. What do you think? Uh, I, I think uh, the Woo Girls are training for uh, to join emergency services, and oh. one of the tests is uh, if a siren breaks down, uh-huh. can you fill in? And be as annoying? Well, can you alert people in the environment that we are an emergency vehicle oh woo, woo. Uh, gotcha emergency vehicle woo so when you see them in a bar or something making that kind of noise then they're just trying to alert people of an emergency coming impending emergency yeah oh, that's like, exactly what it is oh okay well there you go there's your answer anonymous woman from somewhere um you know you decide what do you think the best uh answer to that question is that you gave us but uh, nonetheless that's our take and we got one more little thing to get you through the rest of the week known as horoscope corner love fortune status let us do your astrological chart horoscope corner on world improv network well hey there pisces do you want to see pies well just wait till thanksgiving and there's going to be a bunch on the table unless you don't subscribe to the uh, uh, Win YouTube channel or Facebook page or check us out on iTunes and leave a review, then you're probably going to be in the bottom of a hole getting dirt thrown on you. And you don't want that, do you? Thanks for listening to Win on KZKO. Don't forget to interact with the cast by sending your suggestions for each segment throughout the week by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, Twitter at World Improv Net, or the Win KZKO blog. See you next week.